Can we begin with new information for you on a story that was a News 5 alert last night at 10. Neighbors talking to News 5 tonight about a deputy-involved shooting that left a man dead in Colorado City. The Pueblo County Sheriff's Office says deputies were confronted by an armed individual who was shot and killed. The deputies now on administrative leave. They were not injured. Investigators will not say who the person is, who was shot, or if they are tied to the suspect being sought for the armed robbery of an Ent Federal Credit Union in Rye last week. Well, neighbors in Rye are providing much more information to News 5 tonight about what went down. Lena Howland joins us live along Applewood Drive where that shooting occurred in Colorado City. What are they telling you tonight, Lena? Well, neighbors tell us that the man that was shot is indeed 66 year old Dennis Flowers, the man being shot for the robbery of a bank in Rye. They also say he didn't exactly have the best reputation. What you think used to be a pretty secure, quiet neighborhood, people move in and the neighborhoods change. Kata Schmidt has lived in the area for 14 years, and she never expected this to happen so close to home. It is shocking and a lot of people are surprised and a lot of people knew him and they knew the good side of him. So like with everybody, there's a good and a bad side. Every neighbor I talked to told me it's Dennis Flowers wanted for the Rye Credit Union robbery. Dennis Flowers, who had been accused of robbing the Ent Bank a few days earlier, had broken into the house down the block and the police were searching houses. I did see them yesterday in the neighborhood quite extensively. One neighbor we spoke with who didn't want to go on camera says her family saw flowers passing by behind her own backyard during the search and called 911. She says she wanted to help get him into custody, not get him shot. He came through the back and went to Tony Searles. But when deputies arrived at their neighbor's house, they were confronted by an armed man who was then shot and killed by deputies inside the home. You know, you pull a gun on a sheriff, you can't be surprised when you get shot. So suicide by cop was mentioned by a lot of people that he was at the end of his rope, he'd run out of options, all that kind of talk. While it's unclear how or why he went into that home, neighbors we spoke with hope to regain some sense of normalcy. Well, I hope that uh, stuff like that don't happen again. Most of the people here are older people and they're retired and they're not looking for trouble. Now, the homeowners have since been allowed back into their home where this all happened because this incident did involve two deputies from the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office. The critical incident team has since taken over this investigation, now being led up by Pueblo Police. The Pueblo County, Shor Sh the Pueblo County Coroner's Office says they do plan to release the name of the person shot and killed sometime tomorrow. For now, watching out for you in Colorado City, Lena Howland, News 5.